Anna Devane is Duke Bradley's son. Well, uh, you, uh, you just missed him. He went over to General Hospital for a meeting uh, on city business. Oh, will he be long? I really don't know. Is there any message? Well, just say that I need to speak to him as soon as possible, please. Oh, he'll be, he'll be glad that you're back. Uh, he told me you went to Atlantic City. Uh, did you turn up anything on Frisco and Felicia? No, only that the woman they were involved with was shot on the beach. Yeah, is she okay? No, she was killed instantly. Well, someone's playing for keeps. Just have him call me, please. What was Philomena and Robin now? Catch me! And I found this big dark hole in the ground. Then what happened? The evil man transferred himself. What does that mean? Vuol dire che lo maligno What did it change to? You ask the storyteller. He had this icky, dripping slime all over him. He was shooting fire into the hole. I don't want to hear about it anymore. No, no. It's only a story, Luigi. It's not. It's true. Then how come you're not dead? Because my mommy and daddy rescued me in time. And dad's special guns smelled them down. No, no. Robin, oh, no. basta. That is enough. You are scaring the children. Why don't you tell them a nice story about Australia, eh? Oh, they would love to hear about the little baby kangaroos. Hello, Philomena. Oh, How are you? Hello, Mr. Lavery. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Uh -huh. Can I play hide and seek? I don't think so. I think you have enough playmates yes. to play with. <laughs> hey, Philomena, did Anna get back from her trip yet? No, she she hadn't arrived when we left for the park. Can you stay with us? Well, I would like to. I'm afraid not. I've got to go over to General Hospital for a very important meeting. But you know, I'm glad I took a shortcut through the park. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got to see you. <laughs> I've got to go now. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Uh, bye, goodbye. 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 Bye, Uncle Duke. Bye. You're looking very well, Dan. <laughs> well, the worst of it's over. Doctors tell me it's easy sledding from here on out. Yeah, but I wouldn't overdo it if I were you. You better save your strength for when you return to work. Because I can imagine the backlog of work that's going to be waiting for you. Uh, I try not to think about it. You know, you do have a problem catching up with your work as administrator here and tackling the load at the building commission office. Now, I know that you're aware that the Waterfront Renovation Committee is going to triple your workload as commissioner. Well, it had occurred to me. Well, we both know what your priority has to be. The hospital, of course. Well, it goes without saying. Well, as chairman of the Waterfront Renovation Committee, I was asked to suggest to you that we relieve you of your post, temporarily, of course. Now, that is why I, I gave the mayor and yourself David Marler's resume. I personally believe he is ideal for the job. I've had a chance to look it over. Likewise. Seems qualified to me. What do you think, Mr. Mayor? Well, I'm impressed with Marlowe, but I prefer that the final recommendation was yours and Mr. Lavery's jointly. Excuse me, Dan, but it's that time. Oh, time for my physical therapy session. Thanks to both of you for coming by. Oh, by the way, Marlowe's okay with me for the building commissioner. Then we're unanimous. Well, that was painless. Lead on, McLining. Okay. Take care. Well, Duke, thank you for your help. I wish all city business would move that s smoothly, especially the police department. I'll tell you, 90% of my headaches come from that Port Charles Police Department. Well, that's because the police department inherits 90% of the city's problems. Look, the department's got an image problem of its own making. And the publicity they're getting because of that bad cop is the absolute worst. I don't need to tell you about it since you were the victim of Felicia Jones' crimes. Well, the publicity may not be accurate, Mr. Mayor. Oh, you know something that I don't? Well, I know Frisco Jones is a very dedicated cop. He may be getting a bad rap. Nonsense. Jones is protecting his wife. And Anna Devane is protecting her friends. I mean, even the media got wind of that real fast. Well, it may be the media jumped to the wrong conclusions. Oh, my goodness.
couldn't disagree with you more, but once Jones and Felicia are in jail where they belong, then I am going to have to review Anna Devane's position. Now, Mr. Mayor, I have a suggestion. Don't make any hasty decisions until all the facts are in. Well, tell me something. If Felicia and Frisco are innocent, why did they run away? Okay, Luigi, stand back and throw the ball straight to me. You can do it too far. Our beautiful police chief is an ongoing threat. What are you going to do about it? If our boy doesn't shape up, we might just have to kill Anna Devane. I had a message on my desk. You wanted to talk to me. Yeah, I've been trying to get through to you since I got back. Well, I wish I'd known, but I was away from the office. I'm glad you're back in town. Mm. I hope your work's been going better than mine. What happened in Atlantic City? Well, nothing really. We didn't have much luck in trying to find Frisco and Felicia. Every lead we had was a dead end. And as you know, Tessie, who they evidently had some kind of connection with, was shot and killed on the beach. And now I have reason to believe that Frisco and Felicia could be next on the assassins list. This looks very bad for them. Oh, I'm worried sick. I was getting very worried about you, too. When can I see you? Yeah, we'll see each other. I want to see you today. Can you come for dinner? Um, yeah, I'd like that. I, uh, I, I wanna, I'm gonna wait here until Robin gets back. She's gone out somewhere with Philomena and... Well, I'll come over to your place as soon as I've spent some time with her. You promise? Yeah, I'll be there. I can't wait to see you, Anna. Duke, don't forget we, we still have some unfinished business to talk about. No, I didn't forget. You come over as soon as you can get away. Here's a friend of yours, Duke. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Well, you can see for yourself, Duke. I just had to come by and let you have a look at the... The new me. Hey. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this... getting this new leg for me. Well, I love seeing you. It does my heart good to see you without that crutch. Huh? Yeah, well, it must have cost you a fortune to get this prosthesis. I'll leave you to talk. Yeah. How am I ever going to repay you? I don't want you to even think about it. It was a gift, pure huh. and simple. <laughs> it was more than that. When I got the call to come down to the doctor's office, and I found out that you had ordered and paid for this thing. I don't know why you did it, but I'll remember you the rest of my life. Well, let's just say it was my way of, of paying a long-standing debt. Oh? Yeah, there was a time a while back when another man needed my help. I wasn't able to give it to him, and I've never forgiven myself. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Yeah. Uh, well, that man must uh, must mean a, a lot to you. Yeah, he did. He he was my father. Oh, I see. You know, you remind me of my father in lots of ways. If he were alive, I would ask his forgiveness for letting him down. But well, he's gone. Yeah, we can't always manage the timing in our lives, can we? No, when he needed me, well, I wasn't there. By the time I was ready to help, of course, it was too late. He was dead. So I'm paying my respects to my father through you. <laughs> uh, thanks again. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah. You did good, Duke. Yeah, can we go back to business? Right. I've got to find a way to put Anna off longer. I promise her the answers to questions. I can't give her any answers yet. Mommy, mommy! Oh, hello. Ooh, hello, sweetheart. Did you miss me? Oh, Did you go I'm never coming home. Hello. Oh, Anna, I am mm. so happy to, to see you home. Well, evidently, mm, I was missed, wasn't I? We got scared. Why? What is it? I think the bambina's imagination has been running away with her. She's been playing monster games all day. It's not my imagination. I heard the man say it. Uh, well, you heard who? I heard a man say that they're going to kill you. What man? Where, darling? At the park. Oh, uh, that's enough, Robin. Now, listen, why don't you go in the kitchen and drink a nice glass of milk and it will calm you down, eh? Come on, Come you on. do what I tell you. Here, bring, bring me in the kitchen for me, huh? Thank you, dear. Uh, what on earth is wrong with her? Oh, it... That's a good question. If, if I could get into her little head, then maybe I could explain. 
But all I know is that her mind is full of stories about bad men, bad men. Well, she insists she had what she had. Yes, yes, and she insists that the monsters are real. You should have heard her in the park with Luigi and, my, and with Francesca. He, she frightened her all day with, with her stories that were just horrible. Oh, wait, 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 what stories? Oh, stories of uh, Robin in danger. Somebody or, or something is, is out to get her. And now she has a new story and you are in it. Yeah. See, this worries me. She can't distinguish between reality and make-believe. I thought she could tell the difference between the two. Yeah, I did too, but... Darling, I'm not right. make-believe. Oh. Well, see, I'm sure that what she thought you heard was real to you, but... Well, maybe you misunderstood what the man said. I didn't misunderstood. Well, did you see the man who said it? No, I heard him from the bushes. Well, what, what you heard doesn't make any sense, darling. Yes, it does, because you're a policewoman and... People are always trying to kill police, aren't they? Well, look, yeah, maybe on, on television. Television, they have stories like that. But they're just stories, you see. Now, I'm chief of police here in Port Charles, not in television land. I'm not in any danger. You're not just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. I'm going to cancel my, my dinner with you tonight, and I'll stay here with you tonight, all right? No. If you're with Uncle Duke, then I know you'll be safe. Please don't cancel your plans. Oh, no, I'd like to stay here and play with you all evening. It would be fun. Please have dinner with Uncle Duke, Mommy. Now you're trying to get rid of me. No, I'm not. Yes, why don't you want me to stay here with you? Well, because if you're with Uncle Duke, then I know you'll be safe. Well, thank you for caring, darling, but I want to stay here with you tonight, and maybe you'll teach me how to use that computer board game, whatever it's called. But Uncle Duke will be disappointed. Yes, and I agree. Oh, another country heard from. Yes. Now, you make your plans, you stick to them. Robin will be all right. Maybe La Bambina will help, will help me to learn that game that she is playing. Eh? What is it called? Beats and Pieces? Bites, not Pieces. Oh, bye. You see, she'll be fine. Now, look, you go get ready for your evening and make everybody happy. All right. I can see that I'm not needed here, so I'll go and change. Okay? Okay, that is fine. All right. And, and I go and prepare dinner for the two of us, eh? All right? Hey, maybe you'd like to help me prepare the meatballs, eh? Yes? No, thank you. No. All right. I prepare them. I'll make the best meatballs you ever ate in your life. I promise. Please, Uncle Duke, be there. I have to help my mommy. I hate the boss, Duke. But maybe you can get through to Marco. He can't get it through his head that the chef is the king of the kitchen. Well, between the chef and the maitre d', my loyalties are with the chef. Well, you don't want to play no more? I'm kind of tired. Maybe I can watch a little TV? Ah. Uh, no, I don't think we watch TV tonight, eh? So you can sleep better. I bet if I had an ice cream sundae, I could sleep very well. Oh, is that right? Maybe one with sprinkles on it and some cherries. Mmm, you know, that feels good, huh? We make two sundaes. You for me, eh? Okay. You want to come, huh? And lots of cherries, okay? And whole Bunch of spring. Yes, lots, lots of lots of fudge. Yes, and lots, of cream. lots of fun. Hello. I got you. Robin? You have to help me. I have a very bad problem. I'm very busy, Robin. You have to help me. I say I'm very busy, Robin. Why don't you call your Uncle Duke? The 
chef from downstairs is sending up a dinner for two with all the trimmings. That'll be lovely. I'm going to switch off the phone upstairs. That way we can have an uninterrupted evening. Well, what happens if there's an emergency? Are you expecting one? Well, if I were, it wouldn't be an emergency. You're lucky you have a co-chief like Ramsey to count on. What's the matter, Anna? Mm. You seem subdued. I thought you'd run in here on fire, your head full of questions for me. Did you? Yeah. You haven't forgot my promise to the answers. No, I would have probably remembered. You mean you forgot when you came in? I'm flattered you want to be with me as much as I want to be with you. You know I do. It's just that, um... I want the answers. Uh, they're very important. But I'm worried about Robin. I, I shouldn't have come out tonight and left her. I think perhaps I ought to go home. Robin isn't ill, is she? Well, she's well, but... Uh, what is it? I think she's having a serious problem about my work. I mean, tonight it was almost like she had an anxiety attack. I wonder you're subdued. Well, you see, I mean, usually she's... She's extremely honest. She expresses her worries to me directly. So I can always tell when she's bothered. We talk it out. But this is different. In what way? Well, I don't know. She, she's imagining things now. Like, like what is she imagining? Well, Philomena took her to the park today. And Robin insists that she heard a man say that he wanted to kill me. Now, Philomena thinks that it's all in her mind. And... She was making up all these ghoulish tales to tell her friends all day, and Philomena thought that this was just part of her imagination. But Robin terrified herself. She really felt someone was going to try and kill me. Because she... she thought she heard a man say that, yeah? Well, yeah. I mean, Philomena says that she couldn't possibly have heard anyone. See, I... I think it... I think it's all come about because I left Atlantic City so quickly. Well, the world is frightening enough for children, and that one thing doesn't bother them. Well, something else does. Maybe Robin is a bit worried about your work. I know, I'm sorry. I don't usually take my troubles from work home with me, and I certainly don't mean to bring my problems out to dinner. Ah, come here. Anything that bothers you bothers me, you know that. I want you to share your entire life with me, the good and the bad. And I love Robin, too. You know that? I know. Well, when I came out, but um, I think I ought to go home and see her now. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. You should. I'll call you, and we can reschedule dinner. Yeah, all right. Um, might be a day or so before she's completely over this. Okay. You take as long as you need, Anna. Yeah, I will. Anna? Mm. You said Robin was in the park when she overheard the man. Yes. But I, I, I agree with Philomena, you know, it's all in her imagination.
Hi. I'm so glad you're home. Yes, it's me. Can you hear, can you hear me all the way in Australia? It's important, Daddy. I tried to tell Buzz, and I tried to tell Uncle Duke, and Frisco's away, and I couldn't call Sean. I had no one to talk to. Yes, you have to come to Port Charles right away, because somebody wants to kill Mommy. Yes, Mommy. Please, Daddy, you have to come to Port Charles. You have to come and help us. Possible. Oh, yeah, he's in physical therapy right now, but he's almost done, so why don't you wait? Okay, well, we'll wait. <laughs> well, how have you been, Robin? Fine. And what is that that you have right there? It's a kangaroo that my daddy gave me. Oh, well, how nice. It must be for sit down. Bye. So, I think fine. you should call on for a What? Yes, I, I think so, too. Why? Because Why? I don't want him to be mad at me. Why would he be mad at you, darling? Because you came home early last night and you ruined the dinner for him. All because of Robin's wild imagination. Yeah, but I couldn't stay out and have a good time when I knew that Robin was upset about something. Besides, Uncle Duke wasn't mad at all. Good. Now, you're not still worried that something's going to happen to me, are you? No. I know everything's going to be all right. Did you reach Damon? I just talked to him. He's expecting you. Fine, I'll see you later. Wait a minute. You can't go over there like this. Like what? Look, you're angry. You're upset. You've got to be careful how you talk to him. Careful. I'll carefully wring his neck if he argues Hannah. Duke, you go up against Damon. You're bucking a whole organization. Now I'll go up against the whole organization. Think about what you're saying, man. You know what they're capable of. I know what they're capable of. Look, Damon has the inside track with Mr. B. You've got to go easy, that's all. Like hell, I will. He's not going to threaten Anna and get away with it. Once we take Purity Water National, we'll have another outlet to clean our money through. That'll be Duke Lavery. I'll let you two talk. I want to talk to you alone. I'm just leaving. Nice seeing you, Duke. I'll call you later. Mm. What can I do for you, Duke? I want you to stop making threats on Anna Devane's life. You involved her yourself when you threatened to tell her about the operation. Now, when Mr. B heard about that, we had to take steps to protect ourselves. I will see you and everyone else in this operation dead if you lift one finger to harm Anna Devane. You have nothing to worry about, Duke, so long as you cooperate. I cooperated with Tumble Dry. That was the agreement. Tumble Dry is finished. Not quite. Not as long as Frisco and Felicia still have that printout. Once we get that back, then we'll move to phase three. With your assistance, of course. What is the extent of my involvement in phase three? I'm not at liberty to tell you just yet. But you will be involved. If you want Chief Devane to stay healthy. Hi, Don. How are you doing? Hello, Anna. Philomena. Anna, I mean, this is a treat. Annie's he's doing so well in his therapy. Oh, It'd be nice. fine if they'd let me walk around this place. Oh, it was my he... hand that was injured, not my leg. You know how those hospital rules are, Dan. After all, you did help make them, didn't you? I know, I know. I made you a present. Oh. I learned how to do it in school. Oh, that's beautiful, Robin. Thank you. It's a wallet. Oh, I know, yes. You do wonderful work, Robin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm learning how to make keychains, too. Oh, great. Soon you'll be able to go into business for yourself. No, I'm just making them for presents. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, Philomena, thank you for coming by. Uh, and I... Robin, thank you for the lovely wallet. You're welcome. I'm glad you're looking so well, Dan. Thanks. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh, oh, hi, Anna. Hello. Hello, hi. Robin. Philomena. Hello. Uh, I'm looking for Bobby. Have you seen her? Not since I've been here, no. I think she's probably on 10. No, I already looked on 10. She's not there. Oh. Could you page her? Would you mind, Amy? Sure. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Anna? Yes. I kind of like to have a word with you. Do you have a minute? Yes, of course. Um, I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. I stay here with Robin, eh? But you might want to know that uh, Monica's back in Switzerland. Yes, I know she... She tried to bail Sean out, didn't she? But what is it? Tiffany beat her to it. Yeah. And I, you know as well as I do that all that evidence against Sean is all circumstantial. No one knows that better than I, Jake. 
But Bert seems to feel that we have a case against him. And I can't... I can't go against Bert just because of my friendship with Sean. You're between a rock and a hard place with this oh, thing. Oh, yes. Mm, say that again. I don't have anything else to tell you. But, um... Look, I'll keep you posted, all right? Thanks. Okay. Well, all right, you two. Let's go to Kelly's, shall we? Bye, oh, Bye. 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 Bye, Bye. Bye, Jane. Bye. Well, hi there again. Hello. Are you come and have lunch? Um, yes, but we need something very quick because she has to get back to school. Oh, oh I have the best and the fastest food in Port Charles, That's so right. why don't you go over and sit down? Yes, okay. we'll I'll get my time. time. Yeah, and we'll find out. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'll let you know when I find out. Okay. Oh. Aren't you going to introduce me to Mr. Holmes? I don't think this is a good time. He seems to be involved in something right now. This meeting is much too important for us. I don't want him distracted by anything. We'll wait till the time is right. Whatever you say. Isn't that Chief Devane? That's the lady. And French fries with lots of ketchup, and a chocolate milkshake, and a piece of apple pie. Oh, my oh you're gonna eat all of that? Oh, yes, she is. Last night, she didn't eat anything at the dinner. Well, you're obviously feeling a lot better then, darling, aren't you? I feel great. Well, good. W were you sick? Oh, no. Um, she just... Well, she was upset about something, but that's all over now. Uh -uh. I know. Everything is going to be all right now. The little girl was in the park yesterday when we were talking. She might have heard me talking about killing her mother. Aren't you afraid the kid might recognize you? I don't think she saw me. Otherwise, Devane would have had me arrested by now. Does Duke know about your plans? He's been informed, but I don't think we have anything to worry about. Duke may talk big, but he's too smart to turn against the organization. What's the matter, boss? Nothing. I thought it was dead. What are you doing? What does that look like? Those are your personal papers. What are you going to do with them? I'm putting together a package. Every piece of paper, every document I have here concerning Mr. B and the organization. So? What are you going to do with it? I want you... No. I don't want you involved. I'm already involved. What are you going to do with the stuff? Forget you even saw any of this. You're turning us in? You're going to blow the whole organization out of the water? It's the only way I can save Frisco and Felicia, and I've got to protect Anna. Protect Anna? What about yourself? You're a dead man once they find out. I am a dead man anyway. Duke, why don't you just play along with them until you find a way out? This is suicide. Yes, possibly. When the police have this information, Mr. B, Damon, and everyone else in the organization will be under arrest. Duke, they're not the only ones involved, and you know it. They'll find you no matter where you are. Yes, possibly. This is the only way I can save Frisco, Felicia, and Anna. Yes, hello. Chief Devane, please. No, this is Duke Lavery. Yeah. Have her call me as soon as possible. I'm gonna see Anna tonight. It's my last chance to be with her before I, you know, before I vanish or before I die. Damn it, Angel, do you think it is easy for me to walk out on the woman that I love? Duke, I'm sorry, but I was worried about you. Do you have a plan? Of course I have a plan. Tomorrow the messenger will take this over to Chief Ramsey. I'll make my way to the airport. By the time he opens up the package, I'll be on my way to a very remote place. Yeah, well, it'd better be Mars if you don't want the mob to find you. Well, they won't find me straight away. All I'm doing is buying time. Listen, man, I've got to distance myself from Anna so she's not suffering in the, in the fallout. I'll take them a couple of months before they find me. You mean us? Us? I'm going with you. No, you're not. You're going to keep me here to take the heat? It's OK. The police will understand that you had n no idea what was going on. What about Damon? He knows you told me about what's going on. I've taken care of that as well, Angel. As far as Damon's concerned, you had no idea what I was doing. Hi. Hi, Anna. Have I gone up too early? You look wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Angel. Chief Devane. I have dinner waiting upstairs. Shall we go? Oh, well, I feel slightly overdressed. I thought this is a special occasion. Hmm. Well, you were right. This is a very special occasion. 
put it, didn't we? Are we celebrating something? Yeah, we're celebrating our love. How much I adore you. Oh, I love you too. It should be illegal to be this happy. <laughs> Are you really happy? Deliriously so. It's the beginning of our life together, you know? A wonderful life. It's gonna be wonderful forever. Yes. Chef. so quiet this evening. Am I? Yes. What are you thinking? The same thing I've been thinking for weeks. How much I love you. Do you believe me? I do. Sometimes I think this isn't real at all. Oh, there is only one reality. I want you to believe something else. What? I've taken steps to... to protect Frisco and Felicia. They'll be coming home soon, safe and sound. How do you know? What kind of steps? I can't tell you that. But you must believe me. I believe you, if you say it so. Something bothering you? What is it? Nothing. Come on. You can tell me anything, you know. Are you in some kind of trouble? Mm -hmm. Trouble. I've been in trouble since since I was a kid. Since I was breaking my back trying to put food on the table, I've been in trouble. Now, I can't blame poverty, no matter which way you look at it. I've gone into everything with my eyes wide open. There's no choice. The only thing I can blame is, is my ambition. What do you mean you have to blame? Why? What have you done? Too many things I'm ashamed of. Well, I've done things I'm ashamed of. No, not you. Yes. You're an angel. You've always been an angel. No. It's not true. I wish it were, but... If we're going to be together, there are things that you should know. You can tell me anything. It won't change the way I feel. It won't change my mind. I love you. I'll always love you. Oh, I love you, too. That is so important. No matter what happens, no matter what changes, no matter where I go. What do you mean? What? You sound as if you're saying goodbye.
pleasure. I hope we can do business. So do I. Angel, what's wrong? Oh, Philip, how are you doing? I'm fine. You don't look very well, though. Well... Is that a problem? You can say that. Look, I know about the confrontation between Duke and Damon. Do your friend a favor. Talk to him. Make sure he knows that he can't win the battle with Damon. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Thanks. man I've been with since uh, I was married to Robert and I, I never thought I'd feel this way again. It was meant to be. Yeah, I believe that. My only regret is that we wasted so much time fighting this. Well, that's not my fault really. Do you know, do you understand why I was so angry when you called Rob in love? Why? Because that's what she used to call me. All those years when I, I couldn't tell her I was her mother, she used to think that I was a best friend called Love. Robert called you that. Yeah. Why couldn't you... Why couldn't you tell Robin you were her mother? I was afraid for her. I've done some things in the past that... You know, I'm really ashamed of. So have I. Mm. Not these things. When I was in the WSB, I was, uh, I was a double agent for time. And then when I wanted to try and get out, it was too late. And the DVX told me that they would kill Robert unless I cooperated. What did you do? I played their game, of course. A man that Robert and I were both very fond of was killed because of me. And I never got over that. And Robert never really forgave me. But he didn't turn me in. What did you tell him you were trying to save his life? Oh, no. He didn't really give me a chance. I mean, it wasn't until years later when he knew that Robin was his child, that I could tell him. I must have hurt you very deeply. Yes. I always thought that Robert would come back to me. But then he found somebody else. Fell in love. Got married. Are you over in? How can you ask such a thing now? Because I'm a very jealous man where you're concerned. I love you. I love you very much. You're my woman. I don't want to see any other man with you. You promise me you won't ever be with another man, ever. I promise. be for the rest of our lives.
very soft. I love watching you sleep. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? Because we were talking about the past. Hmm? No. I'm not sad. Mm. I had a great dream. You were there. And Robin was there. Oh. Frisco and Felicia were there too. Everybody was so happy. It was great. I hope you never had anything else but but good dreams. What do you dream? Hmm? I've only had one dream since the first day I met you. What? To spend the rest of my life with you. Well, I'm gonna make that come true. You already have. No matter what happens, I love you more than I love life itself. This is the most wonderful place in the whole world. It isn't very restful, though, is it? <laughs> I can sleep at other times. I don't want to waste one precious moment with you. I feel the way you do. Live every moment as if it's your last. Oh, absolutely. But we have the rest of the night. Not to mention the rest of our lives. Actually, maybe we don't have the rest of the night. I probably should be getting home. What time is it? I don't know. It's about two. I don't want to go. Just so safe here. Mm. Don't you worry. I won't let anyone hurt you. What's the matter? Are you cold? No. I'm afraid. Afraid? I'll always protect you. Oh, it's not me. It's Risco and Felicia. I wonder where they're spending the night. I wonder if they're safe. Oh, Frisco, please. What? Please, we just have to stop. Oh. All right, we'll, we'll rest for a while. We've been walking for hours. I don't mean to push you like this, baby. But we gotta get to poor Charles as fast as we can. How much farther do we have? Oh. I'm not exactly sure. I'd like to get there by morning, though. Oh, my feet can hold out. I've got these blisters. Oh. I'll carry you if I have to. The warehouse isn't going anywhere. We wasted enough time trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. Listen, you may enjoy this type of life. Me, I'm getting kind of sick of it. Oh, really? Can't understand why it's so glamorous. Nothing like traveling first class. There's one good thing about this means of transportation. We don't have to buy gasoline. No one's going to be expecting us. It means we can slip into poor Charles completely undetected. I don't want excuses, Edna. I want answers. Now find Frisco and Felicia. Stake out every point of entry into poor Charles. The bus and train stations, the airport, all of it. You brought in reinforcements from New York, right? Good. I want a special watch put on the ADZ warehouse. One way or another, we're going to find them, Edna. Now you have your orders? Frisco and Felicia are to be shot on sight. You don't have to walk me home there. I want to. I can take care of myself. I don't deny it. Why are you escort? It's a really sad thing if a chief of police is afraid to walk home at night. Well, if you don't tell anyone, I won't. It's so sweet to worry. I'm not worried. I just want to spend these last moments with you, that's all. Last moments. Until I see you again. We're going to see each other in the morning. Sound like it's going to be several weeks. Now, is it a crime for me to want to spend every minute with you? It's very flattering. 
and I love it. Have I told you how much I care for you recently? Yes, several times. Tell me again. Oh, you're the most important thing in my life. You're the most important. I intend to hold you to that. Does it bother you? No, it doesn't bother me. I was just thinking how happy I am that I found you, that's all. Well, I'm going to be around for a very, very long time. I, um, hate to put a damper on things, but do you think we could talk shop for a while? You know, yeah. you said that you need a little more time where, before you can find this information that I need for Christmas. Felicia, do you have it yet? Yes. Can I have it? Later today. Is that just a stalling tactic? No. No, I promise you. I have all the answers you need later today. That's good enough for me. You don't know how relieved I am to hear you say that, you know. I just, I... I wish I hadn't taken so long. I... For so many things. Oh, I know you mean that. I mean it. It'll all be over shortly, Anna. The first time in weeks, you know. I really feel like we're gonna sort out this whole mess, get it cleared up. You'll have all your answers. Be patient, Al. Then you owe me a vacation. Remember our romantic getaway? In our small hotel. Yes. With the private garden. Maybe this vacation will have more meaning for us. Perhaps. Perhaps. After what you said last night, I mean, I wonder whether this hotel has a bridal suite. Drifted off. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Chase, a fine time to stop listening to me. I accepted your marriage proposal. Mm. Duke, I love your spontaneity, but there's plenty of time for all of this in the future. In the future, yeah. I've been happy ever after. The future means so many different things to so many people. For some people, it's, it's a couple of hours. But it's years for us, right? Years and years. I'll always love you, Anna. Are you trying to tell me something? Yes. I love you. I love you, and I... I mean, I love you forever. Package is on its way. So the die is cast. Huh? It's too late to get it back now. It'll be on Ramsey's desk shortly. Fine. On his desk and out of my life. You're not out of Port Charles yet. You better hit the road. Yeah, I intend to. And when that news gets out, Duke, there'll be both sides of the law breathing down on your neck. Yeah, no prizes for guessing which one will get to me first, is that? The boys don't take too kindly to people leaving the organization. I know that. You know, it's hard to believe how much this all meant to me, isn't it? You have no regrets about leaving it? None. I've changed. I've noticed. <laughs> you know, the old Duke Lavery, he'd have fought tooth and nail to cling to his office and to hang on to his clubs. The man you're looking at now, I don't know, I can walk out and I won't miss any of it. He can't say the same about a certain police chief, can he? No. No, it's killing me to walk out on Anna. Duke, is there any other way we can handle it? No, there is no other way. Although, you know, it certainly goes against the grain for me to slink out of town with my tail between my legs. But you're doing it for Anna. <sighs> yeah. She'll be in enough trouble. It's better I'm not around. When Ramsey opens that package, all hell is gonna break loose. 
I'm going with you. No, you're not. I've already worked this out. What I'm going to do, listen. I'm going to tie you up, then I'll knock you out. I'll leave you in the penthouse. When Damon finds you there, well, you can tell him you tried to stop me. He doesn't have to know you've anything whatsoever to do with this getaway. Not a chance. I'm going with you, like it or not. Suit yourself. Now that it's settled, I'll go get my bag. I'm already packed. I knew you'd see it my way. Okay. Do uh, one last thing for me, Angel, will you? What? Forgive me. I'm sorry, old boy. You gave me no choice. going someplace? Me? Well, this is your office, isn't it? Yeah, what are you doing here? I was worried. Um, I was worried by last night. I mean, you didn't actually come out with it and admit it, but it was almost like you were saying goodbye. And now I come here and I see this bag and I, I want to know what's going on. Nothing, nothing's going on. Oh, you're going to have to do better than that. You can start with this. Well, well, it's Angel's back. He left it here. He, he ran out on some errands. Is, is that all right? And about last night? I think you were imagining things. No. I don't think so. Would well, you mind if we talk about this some other time? I yes, some I business. do mind, actually. Because I'm not going to leave this office until we've settled that. Anybody? Nobody would recognize us. With our luck, we'll probably run into a cop walking his beat now. I'm just glad to be home, you know? Even if we can't see our friends. Our luck, we cut a lift dropping us off close enough to Port Charles. Luck had nothing to do with it. Don't rub it in, okay? I'm hungry again. We'll grab something as soon as we can. Well, how can we do that? We don't have any money, remember? I'll figure out a way to get some food. First, we gotta get to the ADZ warehouse. First go, if I don't get some food in my stomach, I'll never make it to the ADZ warehouse. Let's keep moving. Come on. You were right, Edna. They're back in town. How do you want to play it? Why are you so anxious to get rid of me? I told you I have some business to take well, care of. Well, what is of. it? Is it out of town business? Angel is the one who's making the trip, not me. Look, if you were going to leave town, you'd tell me if it was sudden, right? Why should I keep something like that secret from you? I don't know. I come in here and your desk is cleared up and there's a bag on the table. What else am I supposed to think except that you're leaving town in a hurry? Well, I'm very sorry, Anna. If I'd known you were coming over, I would have left the office in a mess. The bag belongs to Angel. I have already told you that. Now are you satisfied? I'm sorry. I'm just jumping to conclusions. I don't... Well, the cop's supposed to know better than that, I thought. This, well, this isn't the cop talking. This is the woman. You've always said that you preferred me without my badge. I always will. Do I just love you so much I couldn't bear to lose you? I don't want you to think about that. We'll always be together, won't we? We'll always be together, unless... Molly events are... Uh... Well, what events? Why should they pull us apart? I don't know. Sometimes things happen. We might be uh, we might be apart. I don't know. But listen, know this, that we'll always have... We'll always have our love, right? No! There you go again, you see? Ward, well, you're, you're talking like, like the whole world is going to end. And this is what worried me last night. 
I'm sorry, Anna. It's my... It's my Scottish fatalism coming out. Huh? I was a born pessimist. I'm sorry. So much about you I don't know. There's a lot about you I don't know. Well, then why don't we start learning about each other today? We'll spend the whole day together, all right? Mm, I can. I have things to take care of. Well, if we could postpone your business things. This is not the kind of business meeting I can... I can't change it. Well, how long will it be? I don't know. Can we meet later, then? I can't change my schedule. I'm sorry. All right, then I'll run the risk of it up. You won't be sad if I don't show up? Yes, I'll be furious. But I can't say you didn't warn me. Okay. Let's meet in the zoo in one hour. All right. It gives me a chance to go and see Tanya at her shower. Okay. You want delays? I'll never get out of here. We hoped you'd be showing up again. You won't be needing that after all. What's this about? Why don't you tell us? Would you mind telling me what the hell he's talking about? Drop the act, Duke. We know everything. Well, kindly explain it to me. I'm completely in the dark. It's very simple. You're a traitor. Oh, you're out of your mind. Insane? You want insanity? This is madness. You really think you could destroy us that easily? Oh, get on with it, Damon. I intend to. And I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. Do you know how our organization punishes traitors? By death. I'm not even going to have a trial. Oh, you had your trial. You were found guilty. How did you get this package? You're underestimating the extent of Mr. B's capabilities, Duke. The messenger. Never reached Chief Ramsey. Mr. B has allies everywhere. You should know that by now. I can't believe it. It was a simple matter to get a hold of the package before it reached Ramsey's desk. Frankly, Duke, I'm disappointed. I expected much more imaginative stuff from the great Duke Lavery. Oh, give me another shot at it. I guarantee you'll be impressed. You've already had your chance, Duke. You think so? How difficult do you think it'll be for me to put together another package and send it over to Chief Ramsey? Try it. You know, you can do whatever you like to me, I know that. But you can't stop me from blowing the lid off this whole organization. You really don't understand, do you? I'm not quite finished yet. If you want to kill me, well, you better just kill me now. It's a little later on today. I'll be sitting opposite Chief Ramsey while he is poring over some rather interesting literature. I have no intention of killing you, Duke. Not at the moment, anyway. Well, I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. Threatening you is useless. And why are you wasting your time and mine? Oh, it's not a waste of time. And the threat is very real. It's just not directed at you. What are you saying? Simply the two lives are at stake here. And neither of them is yours. Now, can you guess who's going to die if you don't do exactly what I say? Hmm? You so much as look at me sideways. And Anna Devane and her little Robin are going to be dead. And you lay one finger on them. And you if I me? do, it'll be your fault. Now you sit down and you shut up. Don't make me ask twice, Duke, about this or anything else. Mm. That's better. Now, it's a whole new ball game now. My rules. Hmm? You play by them and your two precious little ladies will be unharmed. You're going to take orders, not give them. 
You're going to do whatever you're told, and nobody will get hurt. Is that clear? I'm listening. For starters, unpack that bag. You're staying right here. There's not much point in me having it here now, anyway, is there? Mm, you're going to use your considerable influence here in Port Charles to see to it that Mr. B's plan stays successful. As long as his goals are met, then nobody will be hurt. Do you understand? What do you want me to do? Philip? You'll get your instructions when we're ready. Until then, it's business as usual at Duke's. Now, don't try anything foolish. Mr. B has eyes and ears everywhere. He can find out anything. Remember, Duke, Anna and Robin's lives are in your hands. <laughs> 